Today on Dylan Talks Tone, we're going to talk about guitar stands. How's it going? My name is Dylan and this is Dylan Talks Tone. We have over 300 videos on this channel all about guitar tech, how to work on your guitars, how to fix them, how to install parts, how to set them up, and the products that surround them. So today we're going to talk about guitar stands. A few months ago we did a video that was talked all about guitar storage, right? Like the proper way to store your guitar and worrying about the humidity in your house and you know sometimes we don't want to leave our guitars out for an extended period of time because it's harder to control the humidity and that affects the setup and whatnot. We'll put one of those uh, gray bubbles right here that you can click and go watch that other video. This video though is for those of us that want to leave a guitar out to play all the time. There's a lot of us that just, we play a lot, right? We always want one handy and I always figure you'll be inspired to play if you've got something handy to play. So don't go put it up somewhere, have one guitar out at least that you can play all the time. It means that we got to think about how to store them or how to put them on stands in our living room or wherever that might be. This is probably the number one most basic thing we can think of, right? They cost, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 bucks or whatever you get them at your basic music stores and they're the, just the basic guitar stand, right? That's the, the pretty much the simple thing. We'll leave a link to each of these in the description below that we talk about today because there's gives and takes to all of them. The cool part about these is they're very, very cheap. You just take the guitar and you set it on there and they're relatively stable. You know, you don't have to really worry about them. That's kind of the classic guitar stand that everybody has. Did you notice that I have blue tape on it though? We're gonna talk a couple of times about the materials that less expensive guitar stands are made out of. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't use them, but I'm gonna show you something. The reason I have tape on this particular guitar stand is because it is a less expensive one and the material that they put on here to pad to protect your finish can break down certain guitar finishes. Old style nitrocellulose, like what is on this guitar right here, if we were to leave this on this stand for an extended period of time, there would be little burn marks wherever it touched the stand. You gotta be real careful with vintage or vintage style guitars that have nitrocellulose finishes on less expensive guitar stands. If you're using something with, say, a polyurethane finish, which most of your more modern guitars are going to have a polyurethane finish. It'll be fine. This stand will not hurt this guitar at all. It's just a matter of knowing what your guitar is made out of, what the materials are used, and check and see in the description when you buy the stand if it says safe for all guitar finishes. That even being said though, I would use caution until I knew for sure that we were going to be safe with this thing. To be safe, I put paper masking tape on some of my cheaper stands just in case I need to put a guitar on there that is affected by that finish. Let's move on to the next one. This is probably one of my favorite guitar stands of all time. I like it because it folds up quickly. It has no loose pieces. That other one has some loose pieces. You got to keep track of when it's folded up. And you can take this to a gig and it is extremely stable. This is made by a company called Hercules. Many of you may be familiar with them. It pops down like that, tightens like that, telescopes up like that. And what I like about it is it is adjustable for many different uh, lengths of guitars. I have a V that is very difficult to find stands for. So I made a mark on here when I'm gonna use this stand for that guitar specifically that it has to be at this mark. You can just make a little mark here. You know, if you have a bass, you can put a little mark here and then for your guitar mark, you put it here. And it just makes it super convenient to be really flexible. Now this is, I would call a mid-priced stand. The trick about these though, is I really like this particular feature right here. When you put the guitar on the stand, there's a lock that goes around the fretboard. And so it's very, very stable. It's not gonna accidentally come falling off of there. And uh, I, I just really like how it works. And this particular stand, at least for me, has never presented a problem with nitrocellulose finishes. So this Hercules brand has been very, very good. 
They also make, and I don't have it because of course it's small and I left it at a gig one time and I lost it, uh, but I'll leave a link and a picture of this little foldable stand that is extremely stable, made by Hercules, that I like to use and I'd actually put it in my gig bag and bring it with me to gigs, of course, because it's small. And I think there was a lot of people there that day. I accidentally forgot it at a gig one time and now I lost it. That one is relatively inexpensive. It works really well. It's safe for guitar finishes and it's really portable and flat and you can stick it in your gig bag. I really, really dig that stand. Let's go ahead and go on to something that it costs a little bit more, but there's some really, really cool advantages to this particular stand. Let me show you. Before I get going on this, I just want everybody to know I am not paid. This is not any sort of endorsement. There is no Nobody paid me to say any of this stuff. Nobody sent me any free stuff. Uh, this is stuff that we've bought for ourselves. There's no paid advertisement here. This stand right here, not inexpensive, but it is fantastic. It just looked like a piece of wood sticking straight up with a hook for a guitar that is safe for guitar finishes. Now this is by a company called Zither and uh, we'll leave a link to these also. And what I really like about these, because you know, when we build guitars and we start putting them on the internet, we put them on our website and that kind of stuff, we have to, you know, take pictures and various things. What's really cool about this is it makes the guitar seem to float. It's, it's really stable. It's, you would think that it would knock over, but it's just, it's really, it works really, really well. This is a really cool stand. Now, it costs a little more, but it's something that for people with specific needs or they think they want it to match their furniture correctly, or especially if you like to take pictures of your guitar, and I know you do, because I've seen your Instagram, this is a really, really cool, cool stand. So up to this point, we've been talking about storing one guitar at a time. If you want to leave more than one out, you gotta have something else. This is a fairly inexpensive and easy option that you can just throw in your living room or in your studio. We'll leave a link to it, probably on Amazon, down below. Actually, I got this one on Amazon, so we'll leave a link to it. I think it works great. Uh, you gotta worry about it though. You just gotta make sure in the description, whichever one you pick, it says that it is safe for all guitar finishes. Because some of the less expensive ones, like we talked about earlier, this falls under that category as well. When I first got this one, I just wrapped a towel around those lower bars and it solved the problem completely and everything was fine. We don't always want to have our guitars out. Sometimes you got to have something to play. You got to just be inspired to play by grabbing it because it's there. So you got to have a guitar stand. If you have any questions about this or anything else that you've seen on our channel, do me a favor and leave it in the description below and we will make a video just for you.